I'll give the talk on behalf of Mei Chen. The nonlinear feedback shift register, NFSR for short, is a common component in modern cryptographic primitives. There are a lot of lightweight cryptographic algorithms built on NFSRs, including stream ciphers Trivian, Grain, authenticated cipher Acorn, block ciphers Katain, Katain, and hash function Quack. Most uh, Cryptographic primitives, including NFSR-based crypto systems, can be described by tweakable Boolean functions, which contain secret variables and public variables. The algebraic degree of these Boolean functions plays an important role in the security. In fact, a cryptographic primitive with a low algebraic degree is vulnerable to many known attacks such as higher order differential attacks, IOD break attacks, Kuber attacks, and integral attacks. Kuber attacks and higher order differential attacks are most powerful against the NFSR based crypto systems. The based known key recovery attack on Trivium are Kuber attacks and reach 799 rounds. The best known distinguisher on Trivian covers 839 rounds. The full grain 128 was broken by dynamic cube attacks. These attacks exploit low degree relations of the triggerable Boolean functions. That is, the low degree relations between the IVBs and the keystream bees. A Boolean function can be written as the sums of terms which are superset of Ti and the terms which miss at least one variable from Ti. The basic idea of cube attacks and cube testers is that the symbolic sum of Boolean functions f by assigning all possible values to Ti is exactly FS, exactly FS. Cuba attacks work by trying to find low degree polynomial FS in secret base, while Cuba testers work by trying to distinguish FS from random functions. It is difficult to compute the exact algebraic degree for modern cryptographic primitives. After years of development of cryptanalysis, two major tools are proposed for estimating the upper bound on the algebraic degree for iterated permutations. One is based on Walsh spectrum, the other is based on division property. However, for NFSR-based crypto system, there are few tools for estimating the algebraic degree of NFSR systems, except uh, symbolic computation and uh, statistical analysis. These traditional techniques highly depend on computational capacities, and the results is limited by the computational resources. For example, so far, cubes with size less than 54 have never been utilized uh, in cryptanalysis against NFSR-based crypto systems. So to gain better attacks, one has to utilize more compu computational resources, which could turn out to be very expensive. In this talk, we devote our attention to evaluating the algebraic degree of NFSR-based crypto systems. To overcome the existing limitations, we exploit a new technique called numeric mapping to iteratively estimate the upper bound on the algebraic degree for the NFSR systems. Based on this new tool, we develop an algorithm for estimating 
algebraic degrees for NFSR crypto systems. As for an illustration, we refine the algorithm for trivial-like ciphers, including Trivium, Crivium, and Trivia SC. First, let's see the definition of numeric mapping. Let f be a Boolean function on m variables. The numeric mapping maps the Boolean function f and m integers to one integer. The numeric mapping is denoted by capital DEG, DIG. Here, AC are the coefficients of the algebraic normal form of the Boolean function f. The numeric degree of a composite function is defined as follow. Then we can prove the algebraic degree of a composite function is less than or equal to its numeric degree. An emphasis-based crypto system usually consists of an updated function, g, and an output function, f. The internal state is updated by the update function, and the output bit is generated by the output function f after an initialization of sufficient number of rounds. Keep in mind, the algebraic degree of a composite function is less, uh, is, does not exceed its numeric degree we can easily show that this fact can be used to the NFSR-based crypto systems. Let's see an example. Suppose we have an NFSR with size 8, and uh, xt is the update function. Suppose we want to estimate the algebraic degree of x16, the updated bit at clock 16, then we can it recently computes x9, x9, x11, x12, x14, and then by the numeric mapping, we can calculate the numeric degree of x16 and get that to be 6. We can also check that the algebraic degree of x16 is 6 by calculating the algebraic normal form of x16. So the numeric degree of x16 is exactly the same as the algebraic degree. This fact implies that we can get an accurate estimation of algebraic degree using the numeric mapping without computations of the algebraic normal form. The algebraic degrees of output bits and the internal states can be estimated iteratively. This estimation is described in algorithm one. <coughs> in the algorithm, the update function g is written as a vectorial Boolean function, which takes consideration of the shift operations. And dig est. dig est is a procedure for estimating the algebraic degree. When setting the dig est to the numeric mapping dig, this algorithm gives an upper bound on algebraic degree of the output bit. To reach a tighter upper bound, we use a more dedicated dig est rather than the numeric degree mapping. Later, we will show the application of this algorithm to trivial-like ciphers. We introduce trivial-like ciphers first, and then, based on our observations on the updated functions, we formalize a linear time algorithm for estimating the algebraic degree. The internal state which is denoted by ST at clock T, consists of three registers, A, B, and C. The update functions update, update three Bs 
h time, as shown in equation 4 to 6, each of which is a sum of a single quadratic term and some linear terms. The quadratic term consists of two adjacent bits. After an initialization of n rounds, the cipher output a key stream bit using the output function f. Trivian and Trivia SC exactly fall into this kind of cipher, and Crivian is a variant of Trivian. These three ciphers use different length of key and IV, but all of them iterate 1,152 runs in the initialization. The procedure for finding an upper bound on the algebraic degree of the output bit after n runs proceeds as follows. First, initialize the degree of the initial state. The initialized degree is denoted by d0. Then, iteratively compute dt for t varies from 1 to n. Finally, apply the numeric mapping to calculate an estimated degree for the first output bit. In the calculation of dt, two procedures are used, digamal and uh, the numer numeric mapping, for dealing with the quadratic and the linear parts separately. This, estimation, this, this estimation is described in algorithm two. We just uh, skip the details. Algorithm three provides an instance of Digamal. Underlying this algorithm, there are several lemmas which are proved in the paper. The details of the proof are omitted in this talk. Based on this lemma, we can prove that algorithm two output an upper bound on the algebraic degree of the first key stream bit for an n-round trivial-like cipher. One thing to note is that algorithm two has linear time and memory complexity. In the following, our experiments reveal some bound on the algebraic degree of trivial-like ciphers. First, when will the key and IV be sufficiently mixed? The experiments show that the, the initialization should contain more than this number of runs in the third row. Uh, for example, for Trivian, the initialization should have more than 907 runs in order to make the key and IV sufficiently mixed. This was done by taking all the key and every base at input variables. Second, when will the IV be sufficiently mixed? In this case, we take a subset of IV as input variables and the key as parameter. The experiments show that the initialization should contain at least this number of rounds. Otherwise, there exists chosen IV distinguisher. Next, we did a more dedicated search where uh, input variables contain no adjacent bits. For Trivian, we exhaust all the 2 to the 25 cubes of size 37 to 40 for Trivian, and we exhaust all the 2 to the 30 cubes of size 61 to 64 for Trivian and Trivia SC. Then we obtained improved results as shown in this table. For example, with a cube of size 37, the distinguisher covers 837 rounds. Further experiments show that the output of 837 round trivium has a degree strictly less than uh, 37. And the test also implies the distinguisher for 842 rounds 
seems a, seems a bias uh, is detected for the output bit. The accuracy of our algorithm is verified by comparing the exact algebraic degree with the estimated degree using by our algorithm for trivium from 66 rounds to 426 rounds. Our experiments show that when taking all the key and IVBs, all, all, the, all, all the IVBs as input variables, our estimated bound is equal to the real bound for most cases. And when taking the best cube of size 37 as input variables, our estimated bound is always equal to the real bound. This figure shows the estimated algebraic degree for trivial under the three mentioned cases. In order to improve our algorithm, we made uh, two adaptions. First, we compute the exact algebraic degree of the internal state for the first n0 rounds. Second, we use a modified Digamau star to replace the original Digamau. And the rest remains the same as the algorithm two. Now, it becomes hard to estimate the time complexity of our algorithm. The adapted algorithm is described in algorithm four. Applications of the improved algorithm brings new bounds for trivia SC. However, it is not the case for trivian and Crivian. As shown in the table, better bounds are obtained of using algorithm four this table summarizes the main results of our paper. In summary, we have shown a framework of algebraic evaluation for NFSR-based crypto system using the numeric mapping. We have also detailed the techniques for efficiently finding an upper bound on the algebraic degree for trivial-like ciphers. To the best of our knowledge, the tool is the first theoretical one for finding an upper bound on the algebraic degree of an NFSR-based crypto system. In parallel with our work, Todo et al. exploited the tool of division property to estimate the algebraic degree of NFSR-based crypto system. The difference between these two methods is that the bound found by division property is possibly more accurate. However, our, our tool is much faster and uses much, le much less memory and has no limitation on the size of variables and internal state. This slide lists some directions for future work. One needs to apply the algorithm to more NFSR-based ciphers. Yeah, the second is to apply the algorithm for key recovery attacks. A third application may be general, general the algorithm to non-FSR-based crypto systems. Thank you for your attention.